no. I mean, I still remember the one interaction I think I had with you was I was on a tread, I was on an air runner and you came up to me. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, cause you had heard from one of the other media people that I was not, if I had qualified, I was not gonna go. And I, that's, I remember that's what our first, one of our first conversations actually. Was I, was I um, ever rude to you, Julian? No, you weren't ever rude to me. I, if anything were to describe, if I'm being completely honest, I was always yes, curious. Yes. I was always curious as to why there was never any, um, it always felt like there was the favorites of SoCal. And I never felt like um, my story was ever attempted to be captured. Um, and which is actually kind of nice because it kind of made everything more underdogish. You know, even though I had, you know, uh, done something in 2015, there still was the favorites. And then there was the reset. And again, all this comes with, um, you know, what do you do in the sport of CrossFit? But then 2017, it was good. It, I think it was really good that way because it actually kept me focused and to my purpose as to what my goal for that weekend was until day three. So you were never rude. I was just always curious as to why the media side of things never even attempted to expand more than just the certain group of athletes to create, to have some kind of, it's just more story, I guess, but it just made everything more worth it at the end of it. Um, so the answer to your question is um, twofold. I want to say two things. One, I've heard what you've said from a hundred athletes throughout the years. Why wasn't my story told? Oh yeah, of course. You're the you're the only one that was intentional. You were courting my homeboy's lady, <laughs> I was and I was avoiding you like the plague. Can I just tell you that's what I was gonna say. The 27 you're the only you're the only one of a hundred athletes that's accused me of doing that. Now let me tell you, I pick my favorites by how easy people are to interview, and you were you are exceedingly easy to interview. So it was my professional mistake. It's a, I'm a, I'm a scumbag of the highest order. 